Uh, what up guys, this is David from Team Dreadnought bringing you the Gold Paladin deck profile for Bluish Flame specifically. Specifically, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll start out with the Grade Threes. Play four, Prominence Core. Uh, he's he's pretty decent. I think the deck all, all around is pretty decent, but he's a uh, counter boss one and retire regard. Check top four cards of your deck. Choose up the two units from among them and call them to regard and the rest on the bottom of your deck. But if you have uh, Percival and Soul, then you can choose up the four cards. You can call up to four instead of two. And his second effect is when your rear guard is placed until end of the, until end of turn, that unit and this unit get plus three. And if it's Aglavail, then and your opponent's vanguard is grade three, then he gains, oh, well, he doesn't gain a crit. His original crit becomes two. So you can only swing for two crit, but it's still pretty solid. Giving plus three to everything you call that turn is really good. And he just, he gets kind of big. Next up for your uh, last grade three actually is just four Percival. Uh, he's it's it's Percival. I feel like everybody kind of knows what he does. Just the yeah, Excel markers. Basically, you just want to get your Percival out, call your Agavail, and then use Agavail to push Percival and Soul so you can get your call fours off the uh, court. Moving on to grade twos. So this is a bluish flame. We're gonna play four Agavail. Uh, Aglavale is, uh, <laughs> when, uh, when placed on Vanguard, count of us one, check top three, call one from them, bot deck the rest. Uh, it's pretty decent, usually what I try to ride going, uh, going in my grade two turn. And then the better effect and the, the main thing you use it for is on attack, you put a regard in the soul and, uh, Aglavale gets 10 and you bounce it back to hand at the end of battle. Next up, play four Liberator of Royalty, Fallon. Uh, during the turn, if your rear guard was placed from your deck this turn, he gets five. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe even if you called him after you already called something from deck, he will still get the plus five. Got confirmation from the judges on the side. Yes, that is accurate. <laughs> uh, and then he's Vanguard rear guard on hit. You can call top card. Right, well, you can look at the top card of your deck and you may call it your rear guard. Next up, one of the. Uh, Probably one of the best things to have on board is this nice little uh, 5k eagle here. When your other unit is placed, this unit gets plus 5k until end of turn. It activates on uh, both players' turn. So if you call something a guardian, he can also get plus 5, which doesn't matter too much, but it is just kind of neat that your opponent can't just like swing into him most of the time. Uh, but he can get really big really fast, especially on your call 4 turns with uh, core, and you can just call from hand. doesn't have to be from deck. And next up, because I couldn't really think of anything else to play, we played two of uh, Knight of Strong Favors. Ber Berengaria. That's what I'm going to call her. Uh, when she's placed on regard from card ability, uh, you can choose one of the effects. You can counter boss one to soul charge one, or you can soul boss one to counter charge one. Just a bit of resource gaining. Next for grade ones, play for the grade three searcher, Gorbaduck. Pretty easy to make him a 13k booster and you wanna get your Percivals and your course because the more markers you have, the better. So I hear. <laughs> so I hear. Next play for Josephus. Uh, he has a auto Vanguard ability where when he's wrote upon, you may look at the top card of your deck and if it is unit card, you can call it to regard. Uh, pretty decent and his second effect is when he's placed on regard from deck you can soul boss one to counter charge one and then you can soul boss one to draw one so in order to get both you have to pay soul boss two he's just kind of a better dindrain because you can get both effects and speaking of dindrain we play for dindrain because you still want the draw and you still want the counter charge Next for triggers, uh, I was running crits in the deck for a while and I liked it, but I actually feel like the fronts work out better seeing as how many units you can call. So we play six front, and we play six draw, four of them being draw PGs, because it's PGs, shouldn't really be playing less than four. And I, I guess you can play sentinel crits, but I feel like most decks, except for what, like the cross wanna do that? 
Uh, and then last but not least, for the Heal Guardian. Uh, I personally never really have a problem picking between the normal heal and the heal guardian. I feel like I always want to go for the heal guardian because I can grab it off Gorbaduck. I can use it early game and just kind of save me from dying. I, I like that so much better than just having a 20k shield. Um, that, is, uh, that is the bluish flame deck. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, have a good one.